Hey everybody, I'm out today in a big, vast uh, uh, plowed field and I'm just trying it out here. I got a, uh, on one of my properties, I just got a shell casing, but it's modern. But I'm gonna give this a little bit of uh, uh, effort here in time and it's vast. So I'm thinking I'll be able to maybe pull something good. All right, let's get digging. Well, second target here is a uh, rivet and burr. So these would have held every leather strap from a mule team together, every bridle, every piece of horse tack. So uh, they sound almost like a half real. So happy to have that. All right, I keep digging. Hey everybody, I'm getting close to a site here already. I'm starting to get a little bit of iron and uh, some iron nails and blips. And that is a piece from a chain pump from a well. There would be these on a chain every spaced out and they would, these little lead washers um, around the center would draw the water up through the pipe when you crank the chain. Um, so that's cool. All right, keep digging. Well, I've hunted most of this field over to where it's muddy, muddy, muddy. I mean, that's like sinking down mud. I'm not gonna deal with that today. But uh, I did just find a nice round ball. I'm looking for a Civil War spot right now. So that may be a sign I'm close, but I thought I was running into some house site stuff. But that's a very good sign. I dropped a uh, plow dinged. Uh, 58 caliber at least. It may be closer to 69 actually. Uh, pretty big. Anyhow. Alright, keep at it. Hey everybody. I already know what this is. That's a, uh, a brass lightning rod insulator. Lightning rod wire insulator. It went on the side of a house and the wire I think went through these. You see there's ceramic in the inside. That's early, it's like 1920s, probably about 100 years old or so. But that's kind of a neat, neat find. So if anybody's looking, if anybody's ever found that, that's what that is. All right, keep digging. Well, folks, I've been uh, digging here for about an hour and a half, and uh, that's about all I've got. Uh, that one round ball, I wasn't able to find a concentration. Got one piece of lead, melted lead here, rivet. That, uh, lightning rod wire insulator and a chain pump from a well. Um, I think I'm sniffing around the wrong spot, so uh, I'm gonna relocate here and see what that does. Hey everybody, just walked into an area on this new new place here where I've seen some signs, but the signs are not good. They're like uh, clear glass and stuff. Um, but there's, a, uh, there's an old porcelain marble, so that's a really good sign. Oops, if I didn't drop it again. Yep, so cool, keep digging. Hey everybody, yeah, I figured the signs here weren't great. I was hoping that would be a silver quarter, but it's a Louisiana tax token. 1930s public welfare tax, find a lot of these. So that means that this is a site that's gonna have wheat pennies and junk. Uh, I may dig it just a little bit. I've found some nice antique firearms and some other good stuff um, and some older items mixed in in sites like these. So you just never know. But uh, goodness gracious, it's, uh, it's vast. There's a bunch of houses in here, you know, probably some quarter houses and sharecropper houses uh, post Civil War. So uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just keep hitting this for a little while. Here's another marble. Newer marble. That's gonna, I think this site is gonna move to eyeball status here in a bit. But uh, all right, keep going for now. Well, folks, right there in the center of your screen, I picked this up. I thought it was a silverware handle, but it's an elongated scent. So I'm gonna wipe it off here with the hand before it dries out and see what it says. Maybe Lord's Prayer or something. All right. Be right back. Well, folks, it is indeed a Lord's Prayer. I can see our Father at the top. I can see Amen down below. Maybe you can see the last word there. Amen. All right. So, all right. Keep digging. Hey, everybody. I just got a weedy. I'm rubbed it before it dried out. Um, 
it's 1934 so it fits in line with everything else here i'm not seeing anything much older so i'm about ready to call it but i'll spend maybe 30 more minutes all right keep digging hey everybody sorry for the wind noise uh this is actually a marine button it's lost its back i guess it had an iron back at one time probably world war one era and i'm don't find too many of these so i'm pretty happy to have that in my collection and i think it's a neat find so uh Decent find from this site after all. Keep digging. Well, I went over to the next field and I just dug that. That looks like a medallion, uh, maybe a religious medallion. I'll have to clean it when I get home. It's definitely heart shaped. My hunch is religious, but cool find. I may stick around in here a little while. I mean, who knows? All right, keep digging. Well, I got a 90, and I saw this rim, and I was like, oh my god, I got another Morgan dollar. But it's the other thing that a 90 could be that's big and round, and that's a Mardi Gras doubloon. I don't know when it's from, I don't know where it's from, I may not be able to show it because it may have a town name on it or a crew that's recognizable, but at any rate, that's what that is. Keep digging. Well, here's an eyeballed small scent at the wrong time of the year to eyeball anything. There's a little pedestal it was on. Is it going to be an Indian or a wheat? Probably a wheat. Yep, it's a wheat scent. All right, keep digging. Hey, everybody. I thought that was half a marble, but it looks like it's a half of a setting from a ring or a paste jewel or something. I decided to do a little eyeball in here, so I'm going to keep going, keep digging. And here's a marble hiding in the side wall. Is it whole? Yeah, but it's beaten up. Alright, cool deal. Keep digging. And here's another marble hiding back in here. A nice one. Alright, cool deal. Keep eyeballing. Another marble just sitting here waiting for me. Kind of chipped, but keep eyeballing. And another marble. That's a marvelous find. Marvelous. Alright, keep eyeballing. It must be a Bennington marble. That's what I'm thinking it is, unless it's a bead. Awesome. And more marbleage. Cool. Pretty one. Purple, milky. Great. Keep digging. Marble, marble, marble. Marble, marble, marble. Keep digging. Marbleage. Nice blue. Hey everybody, I just dug a, an NW button. Those are fairly common finds at a lot of different sites down here. But I just walked up on this. I wonder if it's a collar disc. Um, I don't really know what it is. It looks like it might be like a quartermaster disc or something like that. That's my guess. No, well, no. I don't know what that is. Well, hmm. Very curious. I bet that's military, whatever it is. I just don't know. All right, keep digging. Huh. No idea what I just flopped out, but it rings like a copper. Um, I doubt it is, though. What do we got here? Well, no, it has a post. Oh, that is a collar disc. <laughs> yep. So it'll be interesting to see what that is once it's cleaned up. Uh, it could be Quartermaster, actually. I think I see cross keys there. I think that's Quartermaster uh, uh, collar disc. Probably World War One or so, if I had to guess. All right, cool deal. Keep digging. Hey, everybody. Got another tax token, I bet. Yep. More taxes. All right, keep digging. Hey, everybody. 
Well, this is why you persevere. I don't know what that is. It's probably some sort of a uh, insurance badge or car ornament or fraternal order badge to go on a vehicle or a motorcycle, but it's got a wing over there and then this wing is kind of bent around and bent back. So I don't know uh, what that was, but it'll be interesting to clean. I'm excited about anything that I haven't dug before. Uh, other than that, I am uh, uh, in uh, weedy hell. So uh, yeah, keep digging. Well, that could be a piece of horse tack, but I really think that with that little nub there, that's a church key, like a brass uh, bottle opener. I haven't seen a brass one before, but I have seen plenty of iron ones. Uh, yeah, interesting find. I hope that's what it is. If so, it would be something that I haven't found before. All right, keep digging. And looks like we've got a Louisiana tax token here. Yep. Yep. 1930s all right keep at it when i get on sites like these i'm determined to pull something up i'm like there's got to be something good here at least one thing good one keeper that's all i want no weeds no weeds well i got a surface coin here it's probably another weedy let's see what it is yeah anytime you see that red it's usually those 1940s composition, you know, the shell casing composition, uh, wheats. Yep, that's a wheat. <sighs> All right, keep digging. Uh, chunky, chunky, chunky. Chunky, weedy. Mm. And I'm in wheat land. Give me a little silver, please. Give me a Merc Dime or something. Cool. That, oh my God. I haven't dug a Merc Dime in five, ten years. Give me a Merc Dime. All right, back to wheat land. <sighs> Probable wheat, I guess. Uh, about as old as I want. It's like a bunch of new stuff today. Keep digging. This find is marvelous. It's a marvelous find. It's wonderful. <laughs> Greeny, <laughs> but not a coin. All right, keep digging. Well, folks, I got a rare item here. It's a double-headed thingamabobber. Cool, keep digging. Well, I'm wasting away again in Margo Weedyville. Oh. Another tax token. 1930s. Wah, wah, wah. They're kind of cool though, but you just dig so much of them. Any site from that era, they're just everywhere. All right, keep digging. Ah, more tax tokenage. Goodness. <sighs> I still want to go somewhere else, but I'm like, this site needs to give up something. All right, keep digging. Hey everybody, I just dug a great seal cuff button. So that's probably World War I era, if I had to guess. Matches the uh, Quartermaster ID disc, and the other one is an engineer's uh, insignia of some sort, probably the same vintage. All right, keep digging. Hey, everybody. I think this may be another collar disc. Yep, I think it says US. <clears throat> that's cool. That's really cool. So I have an uh, engineer's insignia, quartermaster collar disc, this insignia, and uh, a cuff button. So that's kind of neat to put together so many different uniform items. Really cool. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, the day's kind of a bust, but uh, you know, keep at it.